Hi everybody, I'm Norm. This is Yoga with Norm, obviously. So just a couple of words before we start. Just want to make sure that even though you've done yoga before, or you're a newbie, uh, maybe you've done some, but not a whole lot, maybe you're really experienced, the most important thing is you know you. I don't. So with your body, you will do only what you know you can do and modify it, change it. Yoga has to do with a great deal of breathing. And so take those breaths, inhale, exhale, always through the nose. Yoga breathing is always through the nose. So just take it easy, make it work for you. Okay, most importantly is to have a good time, relax, work those muscles, tone them, stretch them, and here we go. As you're comfortable, pretend that your mat is a frame. You are this piece of work, artwork all in this frame. It's more beautiful, you're working, naked, body, mind, spirit, connecting every part of you. Let's pull your hands and set the palms up, not blocking any energy, fingers decaying energy, energy chakras. So we breathe into it. Eyes are closed, lips are closed. Deep arms, relax into it. Take your right hand, place it on your tummy. Take your left hand, place it on your heart. Now push on either place, just like you rest your finger there. Feel that soft rise and fall of the tummy. Perhaps getting the heartbeat. Both hands and place them on your chest, bring your arms in, nice and tight against your grip. Breathe into it, feel it again, the soft rise and fall of the chest. And then pay attention, which is rising more strongly, the chest or the tummy? It should be the tummy. Belly breathing, which you the nose, out the nose. Nose is the filter for the air. Breathe through your mouth, you're drying out your mouth, but you're also bringing lots and lots of germs into the mouth that are not getting filtered as it does through the nose. So let's slide your hands up to your Neck gently, just like your fingertips brush it up again. It's all energy points that we are touching. And then last, just breathe in the front of your eyes. Feel the soft, warm breath against the palm of your hands. Just release them, just relax. Put your big toes to touch each other. Push the half muscles into your mat. Strengthen the needles, legs. Reverse it with your heels together. Let your toes point out. See if you can get those half muscles to touch each other. Pushing down. Just 
pull the legs in and up your heels and feel that pull through the calf muscles. Pull those toes up. Rock them down, pull them in, the heels are lifted down. Breathing into it, palms are up. Just let it slide the soles of the feet together for cobbler's pose. the needle and bring that right uh, left leg, I'm sorry, up, crossing the ankle over the top of the knee. Pull those left toes in toward that knee, push that heel away. Bring your arms up shoulder level, bring the palms up, breathe into it, feeling that stretch across the chest. back. Left hand is going to go to the side of the knee. Right hand is going to go to the heel as you lift that right leg and make sure that you keep that lower leg parallel to your mat. And then lift up looking forward. Breathing into this. Ever hold your breath in the yoga pose. No. Release it, uncross it, breathe into it. And reverse it. Right below the knee. Knees do not like to have anything pushed upon them. Not hands, not ankles. No. Breathing into it. Arms back out. Palms up. Down, whatever you prefer there. Pull those toes in toward that knee. Pay attention to where you are feeling this. What's being stretched? What muscles do you think are being worked here? Lift up we come, grabbing the heel, grabbing the outside of the knee, and left lower leg parallel to the mat. Those left toes in, push that heel away, looking right between the legs there. Straight or breathing into it. Last breath, big inhale. And across, release. Breath. Pull the legs in. Get your feet just like you're pushing against the wall. Again, lower legs are parallel to your mat. Lift both arms up, palms facing each other, and push that lower back further down into the mat. Breathe it. are never quick and fast. Everything is so even. I like to use the term melt. Let's cross that right leg, uh, left leg over the right. Give me permission to my directions here, and arms come out. And we're going to drop just until that big toe touches the floor. Keep your upper body nice and straight. Those shoulders push down. Left toe touching. Release it, come back, reverse it, and right to the touches the floor. Breathe into it. 
giving that nice core twist. Working those flexor muscles on the hips. And then look over your left shoulder. Breathe into it. Left hip is lifted. Inhale, pull back. And then reverse. Look over the right shoulder. Working these four twists, like some muscles again in the hips, over back, and back. Put your arms back beside you. Straighten both legs. The big toes touch, put your heels away. Right hand to your neck, cover your eyes and your left hand. Breathe into it. Release it. Legs the in, right arm up, ready to roll to the right side, pushing up with your left arm, coming around. <clears throat> you come back onto hands and knees here. Put the arms back a little bit more. Let's turn those toes in. Push up. Slide those toes back to the end of your mat. And we are in down dog. There's no barking. That's a joke. <laughs> And the three leg dog, bring it out, out there. Bring it out. Left leg right against the back there, the right. Breathe into it. And reverse it. is going to reach over the head for gate pose. Breathing into this. Do this beautiful stretch through all of these oblique muscles there. All those muscles that connect the ribs, the lungs, the spine. Breathing into it. And release it, hold it out, bring it up. Reach back. All the right side getting stretched. And up. Both arms up and out. Back into it. Draw back and look up. Lift it up higher 
and palms forward, exhale, back down. Let's bring those knees out a little more to the edge of the mat. Come on to the sides of your feet, and then come on down straight. Lower arms flat, separate the fingers, push the hips back for frog. Really works those hips, lower muscles in the back, shoulders, arms. Keep the fingers separated. And push your up and bring your hands a little closer back to the corner. <clears throat> bring the arms more forward. Down in your tummy. Take a little rest here. Bring those elbows out, left to the left, right to the right. And then just rest your forehead down or the side of your face, whichever. On your hands there, cross the right ankle over your left and breathe into it. Crossover. fingers together, turn the toes in, and then we're going to do the Ruth Bader Ginsburg plank. I couldn't believe that the lady did this in the movie because she did. So we're going to try it, but again, make it work for you. See if you can hold it for a count of ten. If not, try five. Keep breathing into it, long, slowing the breaths. Separate 
it a little bit further, place your hands right behind the knees, come on down for huddle. You can call those plays. Ever good to see football again. Yeah. We're gonna make it. It says, Humble servant. And push out. Good. Okay. So we'll just stand up here, shake it out if you need to. All right. Pull those shoulders back. Bring your thumbs right behind your shoulders, fingers in front here, and we're just going to do some circles. Really working those rotator cuffs, shoulder muscles, working the upper back there, getting those kinks out. Reverse it. Breathing in. A little bit of cat cow with the arms. So drop the chin to the chest, come forward, touch the elbows. Exhale, bring it back. Come forward, arching the back, touch the elbows. Exhale, bring it back. Three more.
comes down a bit, and then you're just going to sit back in your chair, your chair pose. Be in here. Enter, you've got tummy tight. And then release it. Bring your hands right behind you. Place them right at the back of the thighs. Pull the shoulders back. Knees nice and tight. And then just drop back into this. Move the hips forward. Shoulders pulling back. Stretching the neck. The eyes open. Breathe into it. And slowly forward again. Release. Find some breath. We're just going to slide this right arm out, left arm over, whatever you can do there on that, feeling all these obliques stretched here. Sa-na-ta-ma 
Bhagavatam Sanatama Zen syllable, just quieting, calming, releasing, relaxing. Take a deep breath. Oh. Namaste, namaste, namaste. The heart in me, the soul in me, which is out to the heart and to the soul in you. Have a great blessing. Amen.